Hello everybody and welcome to Anyone Integral Audio Upload. In this video, we will review a tool that could help us visualize sound on audio, Vision 4X, a spectrum analyzer. They are hugely useful for the information they provide and as I just mentioned, they help you visualize how sound looks by showing you what exact frequency the fundamental harmonic occurs as well as the overtones or even the undertones, which all in all will help you make better decisions when it comes to mixing, mastering or even sound design as this tool will give you enough information about what you can really hear, especially in the very low frequencies. So before we get into this one, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, visit IntegralAudio.com for more details and reviews. Without any further ado, let's get started. First off, there are different analyzers on this one, which is a very good thing as it will give you all you need to analyze a signal or a wave at just one place. The different analyzers are spectrogram, bar graph, waveform, VU meter, RMS meter, and a phase correlation meter. And you can adjust between them from this crosshair on here, allowing yourself to focus on one part or the other if you wish. And that's what they look like in action. We'll check how accurate they are and what to look out for in just a second. For the controls, the cog on the bottom opens the advanced panel. Play pause buttons to freeze the displays. And finally, using a mouse wheel or a trackpad could be done to zoom in and scroll around the display to catch the details that you would want to scout for. And now, the last thing to check before looking at the meters themselves, the advanced controls. You can select and set presets from this section, which is going to be helpful if you want to dial in the exact same settings every time you load the plugin, so you don't have to do it over and over again every time. So this is more of a saving time kind of a thing, which is good for workflow. And then there's general settings where you can set the mode of the channels that you want to analyze, like stereo, left, right, and this is very important. Listen is going to allow you to listen to the selected channel and Trigger is going to restart the analysis whenever a MIDI signal is received. And finally, the Rotate. It's going to rotate the position of the analyzers 90 degrees so you can focus on the bar graph more comfortably. Very convenient. For the time settings, you can use Overlay to loop a time frame and redraw the analysis, or it could be turned off for continuous analysis. There's syncing to the DAW and this will only analyze on playback. Factor will let you choose a time frame like in notes or in milliseconds and how many times you would like to analyze that with the multiplayer. So to set a time frame of 4 bars, you will have to set the factor to 1 bar and multiply it by 4. For the spectrum, pretty straightforward here, like changing the frequency range in hertz or the dB and other aesthetic changes. But then there's the modes. There are 3 different modes. 2048 which is transient and this is best for timing precision and maybe good for drums and sound design actually. 4098 all around offers the best overall analysis and 8192 is harmonic. Um, this might be good for the best frequency precision. And the rest of the controls are for the other meters and how to customize them based on what you're looking for. So for the bar graph you can adjust the bars, the speed, the peak hold and reference and for the waveform you can highlight the pitch information. And there's also headroom which is going to scale the waveform vertically and show you when you're clipping. Let's listen to this track and while we're at it, let's check the spectrogram and what kind of information it's giving us. As the track is building up, high and low frequencies are getting intense as well. Now, we're listening to the sides and typically there shouldn't be that much low-end information. And now as you can see, the low-end section of the spectrum is intense in the middle of the field, so this tells you that this mix is balanced in the low-end. For more detailed and easier to read spectrograms, you can adjust the frequency ranges and the intensity or range of the volume. So this way, you can identify and separate louder parts better, and even look for certain information like harmonics or whatever it may be. 
Now for the bar graph, it will tell you mostly the sustained frequencies and how resonant they are. And as mentioned earlier, you can adjust how many bars there are, their speed, hold time, and even chase a reference frequency curve or know how close you are to a genre's standard curve. So as we confirmed earlier that the low end on this mix was pretty controlled, now when we look at the mix as a whole across the entire spectrum, you can tell that it's almost perfect to this D and B curve. There's just some slight brightness in there but overall it's solid and if you get this information and listen closely, you can decide whether you want to apply an EQ to tame these frequencies or just leave it as is since it's not problematic to the mix as a whole and it still sounds good on different systems. You let me into oblivion I just followed you Gave me a taste of what could have been I feel hollow Tell me it's over Looking at this vocals analysis, you can tell instantly the present overtones and the frequencies at which they occur. Could be useful to know sometimes. And then, from the bar graph, you can look at the sustained frequencies and decide if you want to keep that or maybe control it more. It's going to come down to the genre and context. Also, I did indeed as this vocal, so around the 4 to 8 kHz, there might be sibilance and harsh frequencies, so it's good to look out for that as well. I personally think this is an awesome tool that's going to easily fit into my usually used plugins. It has a nice design, a lot of features, and you just can't go wrong with it. And this brings us to the end of this video, I hope you found it helpful. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like for more content like this. And visit integraraudio.com for more reviews and articles about this plugin. Thank you for watching.